Hey everyone, this is Cody with Interstellar here. We have a second place deck profile today for uh, our buddy Eric. We're going to have him let you know what he's playing and get into it. Yep, so I played Exo Sisters. Uh, it's a deck I've been playing for the past couple formats. It's just good, it's a good control deck. I have fun playing it, and it always catches people by surprise. So we'll get into it. I always play the standard ratios, so three Martha, uh, three Ellis, three Stella, two Sophia, one Irene. Irene's the brick, you only want to play one. Uh, pretty standard stuff, they all work off each other pretty much and get to your XZs. Uh, the spice is too honest. <laughs> yeah, so honest like gets over towers. Uh, you'll summon your sisters and attack and they won't expect it. Uh, so you'll just drop an Honest and your 100 attack Sophia will become like uh, just a giant monster. It's also another way to get through Zeus because they'll put a Zeus in attack, I'll just summon a Sophia or something, attack into it, and then drop an Honest, they can't respond to the damage step. So it gets rid of that, or gets rid of the Zeus real easy. So that's that. And then uh, just three Ash, one Nib, with the one Nib for the cross out. Uh, you don't want to play more because if you have something that's not an Exo Sister on board, it shuts down Martha. And if Martha shut down, you're in a rough spot. Uh, for spells, I'm on two Prosperity. Uh, I don't want to play more because it kind of conflicts with Sophia's draw. And late game, it's not good to see and draw into another Prosperity, so that's why I play two. Uh, three packs, great card. It's either Itelli or Rhoda, depending on the situation. And it searches any Exo Sister card, so you can start to trap with this too if you already have all the monsters that you need. Pretty good. Uh, the MVP of the day, cross out. I mean, today alone, I crossed out Book of Eclipse, Nibiru, Ashes. This Exo Sister gets hit by every hand trap, every tech imaginable, so just having that saves it. And then just the one of Carpet Divum's insane. It's literally prohibition and it pops back row, so I don't have to worry about Imperial Iron Walls or skill drains or anything. And this is just the next E. Um, another spice, spicy little tech, is Temple of the Kings. Uh, this card just allows me to activate a trap turn one, which. Uh, Three Vadas, so I can activate Vadas turn one, get two bodies, and it's a free XD summon. Insane, so that's why I play three of this. Normally it's at two. And then Returnia, card's insane. Uh, if you're going through your plays perfectly, then it's two banishes on your opponent's turn, which just cripples them. Uh, three Imperm. And then the ducks, the deck sucks going second, so I'm on two even leads. Would, would be three, but I don't have the room. Also, Dark Ruler's not doing too much right now, but I'll think about that since Sprite's everywhere. Um, yeah, this local is definitely a lot of Sprite. Yeah, a lot of Sprite. I was surprised. So that's the main deck. Uh, we'll go to the extra deck. Uh, three Michaelis. Need three for the grind game. She's a target banish, the turn she summon, and she searches any spell trap, Exo Sister spell trap. Two Cast Patel, she gets the missing monster that you need in your hand. Uh, the biggest choke point of the deck for sure. Uh, two Gabrine. Uh, she's Baylor and she lets you OTK pretty much. So she'll give all your XEs uh, 800 attack boost, lingering until the end of the turn. So that makes your Magnifica huge. One Asophil. I was playing this last format because of tears, but uh, I'm playing at one at one now. Uh, it's literally Abyss Dweller, the turn it's summon. And it can hurt a lot of decks. And then the best card of the deck is Magnifica. So she is a non-target banish. Uh, she has an effect to t tag herself out for one of her materials that gives you another live banish. And it's a great way to dodge targeting too. So that card's insane. And then just some generic ranked fours. I play a Baguska in case I'm in a tough spot. And then the Knight, just because he's so good. And then gotta play two Zeus because uh, Kashira always likes to rip one. Yep. Yep, that's what they do. So that's the main and extra. The camera doesn't do it justice, but all the Max Ready cards look great. They look great. Love them. I've been playing the deck for so long, I thought I'd just juice it up over time. Uh, for the side deck, this makes up for the deck's weaknesses. I, three, I play a three ghost spell because Ibli sucks, the gimmick puppet sucks, Ra's Disciple sucks, all that sucks. So if those hit your board, you pretty much just lose on the spot. That's why I also play two Dark Hole. 
just to get rid of those too. Uh, I play one harpies just for back row. I'm actually on one book of eclipse and two book of moon. Uh, this this card just dies to ash and they always have it, so I just like book of moon more just for that reason. Uh, for traps, I uh, play Solemn Judgment because the deck has no negates, so just having judgments really saves you, just saves you big time. Uh, two D barrier, so short on the room. It's a great cross out target, and it's great to draw going first. That'll win you games by itself. Also, Sunstone Spike. Yeah, and then finally, just the one evenly, just to play. If I'm going second. Put it in. What's that? I've been playing this deck for a while, and I just have fun playing it. Uh, I think I got it down pretty good. Damn, yeah, I mean, you did pretty well today. So. Yeah. So. Any uh, any shout outs today? Shout out to Mr. Cards and Comics. That's been my local since I started. Um, shout out to everyone here. Everyone's just such a good sport, and we all we all have a great time. So, yeah. Thanks for giving me this deck profile. And no problem, man. Well, yeah. Thanks for coming out to the locals, and uh, congrats on your second place. Appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah.